Uh, all right, teeth look good, Rexy. You ready, champ? <laughs> Perfect. Hey, it's so good to see all you guys. And welcome back to Imagination Monster. You guys turned into a super incredible Jurassic World day today because the new movie, Jurassic World Dominion, is releasing in theaters and we got our hands on some new toys like this Giganotosaurus. You guys wanna help us in box? Awesome, okay, here we go. All right, so let's talk about what we got here. We got this Jurassic World Dominion Giganotosaurus. Now this is one huge dinosaur. I mean, look at the size of this box. Oh, on the back of the box here, it looks like this thing can even eat more dinosaurs. Enough talking though, let's get this thing out of the box. All right, so we got our Giganotosaurus all unboxed here, and this is one massive dinosaur. So Giganotosaurus actually translates from Greek to mean giant southern lizard. And if you look at this, this is definitely a giant lizard. So let's go over a couple of the facts. Giganotosaurus actually had a pretty small brain compared to T-Rex, only about the size of a banana, so not big at all. <laughs> now it also had 76 8 inch long teeth, flat and serrated, allowing it to easily slice flesh. Now the bite force of the Giganotosaurus was a lot weaker compared to T-Rex. Now that doesn't mean that this isn't one deadly dinosaur though, because it is theorized by scientists that Giganotosaurus can actually hunt in packs to take down larger sauropods, kind of like the Argentiniosaurus. Now that is a huge task to be able to take down such a big dinosaur, but that is what is presumed to eat along with other smaller uh, herbivores. So Giganotosaurus had a six foot skull, which was supported by a huge massive neck in this body, which has these spikes on the back of its back, giving it an extra layer of protection. <laughs> now, Giganotosaurus is also considered a theropod, meaning it's bipedal. Bipedal means it's able to stand on two feet and kind of stand upright. Now, how fast could this dinosaur go? Well, it is theorized that Giganotosaurus can run up to 30 miles per hour compared to T-Rex, which is usually able to run about 10 miles per hour. It also had these short arms with these three claws on it, a little bit bigger than T-Rex. Maybe that meant it could actually grab its prey a little bit more than the T-Rex. Giganotosaurus is also one of the biggest carnivores to have ever walked Earth. Definitely bigger than T-Rex, but slightly smaller than Spinosaurus. It stood at about 23 feet tall and 41 to 46 feet long. Now it had this massive tail, which is important for counterbalance. What that means is because this animal weighed so much up front, it needed the weight in the back to prevent it from tipping over to help it when it's running, especially when it's running up to 30 miles per hour. Now, this thing also weighed at about 10 tons, which definitely outweighed T-Rex. Regardless though, Giganotosaurus or T-Rex, I would not want to end up in the jaws of this dinosaur and end up its lunch. Or, as you can see, end up as its poop. <laughs> You know what? This is gonna be such an awesome toy for any dinosaur lover or any Jurassic World lover. It's awesome!